I'm heartbroken, my wife's heartbroken. Though I'm sure the whole neighborhood's heartbroken. Good evening, heartache in Mill Creek. As the investigation continues into a five-year-old boy hit and killed by a car, police say the driver swerved to avoid the older brother and didn't see the five-year-old. New specialist Lad Egan is live where it happened, and Lad, obviously a difficult day for everybody in that neighborhood. It has been a traumatic 24 hours for this tight-knit East Mill Creek neighborhood, and there are a lot of questions that are surfacing about the safety of this road behind me where the boy was hit. It's been an emotional day for us. Neighbors looking for a way to show compassion. Tied ribbons on trees after tragedy struck Sunday night. It was dark at the time that this happened. It's fairly poorly lit up there. Around 8.15 p.m., police say a woman was driving down Neff's Drive when she came upon a five-year-old boy and his older brother out riding bikes and scooters. And as she was approaching the boy, she had seen the older one. Um, and had adjusted her vehicle to avoid him and didn't see the five-year-old. The five-year-old died at the scene. Police say the driver who lives near the boy's family cooperated with the investigation. It's looking like this is just a very unfortunate and very tragic accident. There's kids going up and down this street continually. Neighbors are worried about the safety of the street and say they've asked for sidewalks and more stop signs for years. This road is a death trap. And I'm surprised it hasn't happened quicker. We bike almost every day, and it's pretty sobering. They hope they can come together and make it safer. But for today, they're focusing on supporting each other. I just wish them peace and happiness. I'm heartbroken. My wife's heartbroken. Though I'm sure the whole neighborhood's heartbroken. Uh, you've lost a child, and you have a person, a good person, that's living with it. And it's not easy to live with. The whole neighborhood truly just in mourning over this. And I did check in with the school district. They say that crisis counselors were on hand today at the nearby elementary school where that five-year-old boy was a kindergarten student. And uh, Dini, you know, you think about the heartache of the family, but our hearts also go out to those kindergarten students who lost a classmate. Yeah, all around, it's a tough situation. Mm -hmm. What a tragedy. Lad, thank you.